Hello, it's Mike Bird here, and I'm proud to announce that today is the launch day for my new book, A Bird's Eye View of Luke and Axe, published by InterVarsity Press. This is a book that has been decades in the making. I first began writing this book in about 2007, when I began teaching a course on Luke and Acts at the Highland Theological College in Scotland. And, you know, I kept teaching about Luke and Acts when I was at the Brisbane School of Theology uh, and also for the last 10 years here at Ridley College. And it's been wonderful to write this. It's taken me a lot longer than I thought. I kind of got a little bit distracted writing a systematic theology and a New Testament introduction and a few other things, but I was able to grind my way through and eventually get there. And, you know, I did it because, you know, Luke Acts is an incredibly important part of the New Testament. It makes up a whopping 28% of the New Testament. I mean, to put that in context, Paul's epistles are only 24% of the New Testament. So Luke Acts is the single biggest corpus, and I think it's kind of like a New Testament in miniature, you know, to use C.K. Barrett's term, because it gives you the story of Jesus and the story of the apostles. And uh, this, this is meant as an introductory textbook, uh, you know, intended for, well, I mean, you know, college students, seminary students, and it's meant to be a companion to something like an exegesis course or an intro to New Testament. So, you know, if you're doing a, a unit on the Gospel of Luke or the Book of Acts or both, and you want to spend all your time actually working through the text, but there's a whole bunch of themes you really need to explore too, uh, that's what I try to do in this book. You know, I, I try to go into things like the backstory. Well, ex exactly who was Luke? What can we reconstruct about the author from the text? What do we know about Luke according to tradition? Uh, also go through various themes like, you know, stuff like, you know, what does Luke say about wealth and riches? He says a lot about wealth and riches. And some have wondered whether Luke is a kind of, you know, proto-communist or something like that because he talks about sharing possessions and the like. And then there's, you know, stuff like Luke and women. You know, the Mary and Martha story is a very good entree into that discussion. Uh, feminists have found Luke and Acts a bit of a, a bit of a playground to test out their own theories about feminism and the origins of Christianity. You know, there's stuff on Luke and eschatology or final things. What's Luke's hope for the future? Uh, Luke and the Holy Spirit. You know, I argue that Luke was effectively the first Pentecostal theologian, if you like. So that's what I want to do. I want to go through all the sort of, you know, difficult problems that you've got to wrestle with when you're getting into Luke and Acts, particularly like is Luke a historian or is he a theologian or is he a bit of both? Uh, you know, questions like Luke and the Jews, Luke and the Old Testament, Luke and the Roman Empire. So this is designed to be a companion to people who want to know more about Luke Acts or who are, you know, doing a sermon series on Luke Acts or who are exegeting the Gospel of Luke or parts of the Book of Acts, don't have all the time to explore every single issue that gets thrown up by this amazing corpus, uh, but really do want to find a way of getting into it without being distracted from the main work of exegeting and studying the actual, you know, the actual texts, the Gospel, Luke, and the Acts of uh, the Apostles. So uh, this is the book. I commend it to you warmly. Uh, Hope you all like it. You can find it where all good books are sold. Uh, you could probably find it where bad books are sold as well. So, yeah, there we are. A bird's eye view of Luke and Axe available now. I hope you all can find it, read it, and enjoy it.